Howdy folks, Daniel Rubino here with WP Central and today I'm going to have a little shootout here between two image search applications on Windows Phone 7. Interestingly enough, on our Bing search we don't have access to an image search, which on Bing is actually very powerful. I imagine they'll add this later on, hopefully maybe that January, February update that we've been talking about. But for now, you have to rely on a third party app if you want quick image um, search capabilities. And there's two of them here. I have uh, one's called the Easy Image Collector, and the other one's called just Image Search. Uh, they're both pretty good. Image Search, though, has a pretty terrible try before you buy that has a lot of complaints. They might have fixed it in the latest version, I'm not sure. I actually bought it, so I can't tell you. But let's take a look at uh, Easy Image Collector. We'll launch that first. The interface on this app is actually very nice. Uh, you know, you got basically your search category here, and then you can put uh, your safe search, and then you can do by people, all, just faces, or head and so shoulders. And that's basically it. So, you know, you just go here. I'll type in like something like Arnold for like Arnold Schwarzenegger since he's pretty prolific. And then, see, I always want to hit clear for search for some reason. But you have to hit this. It's one layout issue I don't really care for. But basically, it loads up all these little thumbnails. And you can kind of scroll down and you can see different ones. Uh, you just click it and then it's going to load it in the image uh, viewer right here. And there you go. There's Arnold, governor of California. Uh, what's neat down here at the bottom, of course, you have some options. Just previous and more importantly, I think a lot of people would really want is that save feature. So you can just save the image directly to your uh, folders. And that's probably, you know, one of the top features I think that's really great about this application here. It just allows you to search and just quickly save a photo. The other options are really nice too. The ability to search um, you know, head and shoulders or just face. It's really nice if you just want to look up, you know, celebrities or people and it works pretty well um, and unfortunately that image isn't found so it's like the typical things you get on the internet when sometimes sites don't actually have the photo hosted uh, some complaints uh, when you scroll down you know you get to the end here so we'll we'll bring down some more files and you can see it's actually pretty fast but one thing that kind of bothers me I don't get it see how if I scroll down really quickly it actually goes to the last page and that's kind of just weird behavior, and it'll keep doing that. And you, what's weird is you, you want to scroll, see, I scroll down now I'm at the end, but it just updates again. So I think this may be a bug. It's really kind of frustrating. Um, I'm not really sure what's going on with it, but it kind of hops around all over the place. It's a little confusing. Um, maybe they can update that in a future uh, version. But that's it, and that's pretty much, you know, it's a straightforward app. Works well. I like the interface on it. It's 99 cents. And now we'll compare it to a second app called Image Search. Now this one has a try as you buy, but it's pretty nag worthy where it keeps uh, telling you, you know, keep buying this app and stuff like that. Now, this is also 99 cents. A little different here in the layout. Obviously, it just gives you thumbnails, which is actually a little cleaner in some ways. Uh, the options down here, we can go to settings. Same thing, strict, moderate, none. You'll notice there are no categories for or selections for uh, faces or head and shoulders and that kind of thing. Uh, there is the image view settings. You can open in image search or open in Internet Explorer directly. Uh, opening in image search is obviously faster. You can also have it uh, reload the last search on start. Um, there's actually a bug here, and I'll show you how that works after. And you can see my last search was for cats, how cute. And <laughs> you just basically tap the image and it brings it up. This is actually a really fast image viewer. I'll, I'll give it that. Um, it's very, you can see, just a, it's very responsive. And of course it does landscape and you can zoom in. So <laughs> very adorable. The, and how this works is interesting. You can't save directly, of course, and so there's no options or anything here. But you'll see this little kind of icon here in the corner, E, and I think it stands for Explore. I'm not really sure, but if you click that, it's going to open up Internet Explorer and go right to that image. And now you get basically the same options you would in your um, normally in the browser. So now you can save the picture directly. So it's an extra step if you want to save a photo. 
On the other hand, it's actually pretty fast. So, you know, it's all about trade-offs. If you want to bring down more, you just hit the arrow, and it brings down more images. You know, overall, I kind of like this, actually. It works really well. Um, <laughs> there you go. Like I said, the image viewer is very fast on it, which I like how responsive it is. It's a little bit more responsive than the last app, which uses Internet Explorer uh, directly, and it's not as quick. Now, one bug there is, though, is when we go to settings, the startup option here, where it says um, reload last search. Now, I can obviously see why some people wouldn't want that checked if you're searching for anything, um, you know, perhaps inappropriate. So you can uncheck that, and now it, it won't save, it's true. It, it will keep it blank when it starts, so it lives up to its word, but there is one bug, which is now, when you go to an image, you can zoom it in. You'll see that that E. I don't know if, <laughs> try to zoom in here a bit. Sorry, uh, that E is no longer there. <laughs> There's no way to open this in um, Internet Explorer or anything. Now I can't do anything with the image. So that's kind of frustrating. And that's just that's for all pictures basically. So that's just I don't know why that is. It's a weird bug. Uh, if I click it again, and go back. You'll see now, well, it's kind of hard to see, but it's right there in the corner. It's back again. So that's certainly a weird issue. Nothing that can't be fixed in the bug update. Uh, hopefully the uh, author will uh, address that. Which one is better? It's really hard to say at this point. They both have um, their pros and cons. I kind of like image search a little better. But then again, <laughs> easy image uh, collector is kind of nice for searching for people as you have those filter choices. So... They're both decent. They both have uh, try before you buy. So, you know, give them both a shot. See which one you like better. It, it's kind of a toss up. It's one of those. Each one has their pros and cons, but there's no clear winner here. But uh, they're both worthy and both good for trying out. If you like to search for pictures on the internet and need a quick way of saving them, it's probably your your best bet to take one of these for a spin. So there you go. Take care. Bye.